I really believe he has the ability to potentially be the defensive uh, rookie of the year. Wow. wow. Uh, and the reason why I say that, uh, aside from his length, of his, you know, in terms of his athleticism and his length, uh, in terms of being able to press cover, he has a nose for the ball. And you look at the way the Bears are constructed. Currently right now, uh, you have a front four that we don't have great edge rushers. We understand that. But I think our strength is going to be in the middle of the defense. Yep. And their ability to push and cause pressure. And you have long arms with Javon De- uh, John Dexter and also with uh, Zach, Zach, Pickens? Zach Pickens as well. You have an ability to kind of muddy the water, so to speak, when the quarterback is going to pass the ball. You also look at the way this defense is constructed in terms of uh, Eberflus's system. You have it similar to what Lovey Smith had when you had a middle linebacker and Erlocker who could drop way back yep. in the zone. And you've got that with the length Cover of Cover that middle yes. zone. You know, Trent, Trent Edmonds gives you that ability to do the exact same thing. Would you say he does it better than Roquan? Yes, yes. He's better in pass coverage than Roquan is, uh, definitively. I think Roquan's a better run defender. I think Roquan's better at rushing the passer. I think Roquan is good at affecting aspects of the field. I think side to side they're equitable. But with Tremaine Edmonds, his ability to drop back, also with Edwards able to drop back too, you've got two linebackers that can affect the middle of the field. And we already know that our secondary has shown an ability to make plays on the ball. Now, Eberflus, when he was a defensive coordinator over with the Colts, uh, for four years, I want to say the team averaged about 14 interceptions a year. His last year, they had 19 interceptions. Now, part of what leads to interceptions is pressure. Uh, with the Colts, what they were able to do at the time he was there, I think they averaged about 120 pressures a season. Last year here, <laughs> we Zero? were Not quite. close. <laughs> uh, we were at about 86 pressures. Okay. But, and, a, and a franchise record low, 10 sacks from the yes. defensive line. But, and sacks are important. But they're not pressures definitive. are the pressures one. are the thing because yeah. this whole defense is predicated on turnovers. So if I'm sacking you, I may or may not get the turnover. But if I'm True. causing pressure, I may affect aspects of the field that can cause pressure and generate turnovers, i.e., interceptions. And last year, although we had 86 pressures, we had 14 interceptions. So I look for this team to generate more pressures up the middle and with the length of the defensive tackles, or also with our linebackers. I see a lot of deflections. I see a lot of plays made on the ball. And because he is a rookie, getting back to my initial point. He's a rookie. He's going to be targeted. He's going to get his options. They're going to come towards us. He's going to have the opportunity to do that, and I think he can make those plays. That's a great point. They are going to come at him.